You see this smoky haze in the distance? Guess what I made to uh, buy myself a little insurance. I, I repurposed an old spare tank and a pump, and now I got myself a fire watch uh, pump, I guess. Something to keep me a little safer if the fires actually get here. repurposed old thing how do you like these wheels 15 inch 14 inch low profile high, pro whole pro high profile walking beam suspension this is a 500 gallon uh, sprayer tank from decades ago look at those new tires and just rigged it up Finally, gonna just finish it up and then uh, give her a test run. This here pump I picked up years ago. It is a Viking pump made in Ontario or somewhere, but it is a gear, a gear uh, planetary type thing. No, that's not the right word. A uh, vein type pump. You see how this thing runs? This is the back, obviously, and this, which runs this gear here. So it's like a gear pump, but kind of like a vein pump too. And then it's a little bypass. Set. So I'm going to bolt that in there. I take it out when I leave it over the winter so it doesn't crack and freeze again. Because as you can see, this here is welded up. I broke it and cracked it and had to weld it back up. Anyway, so yeah. So we mounted this thing on this old spare tank frame and stuff so that uh, we can suck water out of the dugout and pump straight through and do it for irrigation or fill up the tank and do a little firefighting if we have to have to, which is the real reason why it happened now is because they evacuated all the area around here and uh, I think I'm safe, but it's better off to have a water tank than to wish. So I'll put it together the rest of the way and then we'll try it out so you can see what it looks like. Well, there we are. I just primed it. I didn't even, uh, I just threw the hose in. I've got one of those screeners over there. You can keep it off the ground, but it's obviously just at an idle, pumping away, dribbling a little bit of water, but whatever, looping around and out to here. So, now, We'll fill up the tank. See if I can do that without getting myself wet. And then find out I've got big massive holes in the tank or something. You know how that would go. So we'll time that, see how long it takes at an idle. Fill up my 500 gallon and I can uh, irrigate the garden over there or put a fire out. She's working. Okay, so I cheated and put my PTO in at an idle at a thousand RPM and it took about eight minutes to fill up. Then I threw the suction hose into here to see if it would work and obviously I'm sucking out of the tank and pumping back in. So at this rate, at an idle, you should be able to then spray water for 10, 15 minutes. Now I just got to remember where I had my stupid uh, fire nozzle. But yeah, you could wet down a, a whole bunch of grass fire with this in just a few minutes. So I guess we're successful. There's the face of success. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I don't have to use it for putting out any fires, but at least now I've got it done. A little bit of insurance doesn't uh, ever hurt.